We're not into hockey for the fame or the hype. We're into hockey for this kid and his mom. For the guys in Detroit cutting out early to catch a Wings game. And this man in Denver watching the Avs on a TV older than the franchise. We're into hockey for the fans in Vegas waiting for the desert to freeze over. And the ones in Tampa hoping lightning strikes thrice. We're in it for this upstanding young Philadelphian and every bartender in Quincy. We're in the hockey for Matt Dumba, Seth Jones, and anyone that's ever been told, stick to basketball. Hockey's for the diehards and the faithful. It's for every rookie in Seattle. And it's for us, because honest to Stan, we're fans too. The NHL on ESPN, ESPN+, Hulu, and ABC. All for hockey. Hockey in the USA, ESPN. We've got a great season on tap for you. And we've also got a great cast to bring you the game. Brando, touch it, don't score! Can you believe it? Stafford Pioneer, one of the national champions. You define what sports journalism is. Your head and shoulders above the rest. A long time comes to celebrate. Oh! Showtime, baby. The New York Islanders are picking Rick Pietro as the number one pick. Oh, my goodness! What is tremendous! Today, I'm talking about hockey. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that hockey. Yes, I am. And here's what you need to know. Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl and the Edmonton Oilers. Newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, they got swept out of the first round of the playoffs last night. Look, we all know I'm not a hockey expert, okay? The only thing I know about hockey is that the puck is black. But even I have heard that Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, Connor McDavid, the phenom, the future of the sport, the NHL's leading scorer, Dreisaitl, second in scoring to McDavid this year, the NHL's leading scorer last year, swept in the first round as the higher seed after not even getting out of the qualifying round last year? Now, how you gonna do hockey like that? How you gonna do that? You're lucky you're not basketball players. I'll tell you that. I'd be on you much harder than I am right now. Connor McDavid, you've only won one damn playoff series in your six-year career. You gotta do more than, than that with your abilities, man. Come on, man. Imagine if the Brooklyn Nets were getting swept out of the first round of the playoffs with all their talent. 
I've never let them hear the end of it. But you too, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl? I don't know you that well. I really don't. So I'm going to be nice. I really did this segment actually just to make Gary Bettman proud, the NHL commissioner. I want to show him and the rest of the hockey lovers out there. I don't mind doing that hockey. Foley makes it 3 0 into an empty net. And the Montreal Canadiens have completed the comeback. Shock and awe in Toronto. It's time again for Let Me Explain, a segment where I explain something important that has happened in sports that you just might need to know about. But today, I have to explain to you why the Toronto Maple Leafs being eliminated last night in the NHL playoffs has left me in a good mood. A very good mood. Because here's the thing. The Maple Leafs shouldn't have lost. They have high-profile players, a big payroll, a huge fan base. They won their division. They were heavy favorites. And still, they lost. Now, where am I going with this? After being up three games to one. And guess what? It's not a surprise. Not really. Because they always fall apart in the playoffs. Where am I going with this? Stay with me. Despite all their resources, they haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1967. That's the year I was born. Haven't won a playoff series since 2004. They've lost eight consecutive series clinching games. And I'll be honest, I didn't know any of that until the day. You know why? Because all I know about hockey is that the puck is black. I don't know a damn thing about hockey. But now that I do know, I also know this. Those Toronto Maple Leafs right there are the Dallas Cowboys of the NHL. The Dallas. Cowboys of Canada. Just failures on an epic level every year. So thank you, Toronto Maple Leafs. Thank you for reminding me of how much joy the Dallas Cowboys have given me over the years. I actually almost forgot. NBA players going off. I actually almost forgot. Until the Toronto Maple Leafs reminded me. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If the Dallas Cowboys ever decided to do that hockey, to do that hockey. They be the Toronto Maple Leafs. Do you get the explanation? Welcome for the first of ESPN's coverage of National Hockey League action. Delighted to have you with us for yet another one of those big moments in sports. For a hockey fan, it doesn't get any better than this.